Praise God! Hello and good afternoon sa mga viewers po natin right now sa mga kanilang mga places in their homes or even even when you are at your work right now we, we are so much grateful that you are with us today for us to worship the Lord our God Amen! Hallelujah! We would also like to um, greet our mothers before Our day with the wonderful greetings for our Lord God. Amen. Hallelujah. Habang sila ay nagayos ng mga technical difficulties, yeah, I would just like to greet uh, all the mothers right now who are listening. Happy Mother's Day to everyone right now there in the Philippines, in the Middle East. If you are in Canada or in the United States of America or everywhere in the world, Happy Mother's Day. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hopefully you are enjoying your day right now. Yeah, we praise the Lord for bringing you us in our lives and for being us here on the earth because of you. Amen. Hallelujah. And as we have this wonderful day, uh, we are about to um, give all our praises to the Lord, our God, our Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And uh, yes, on behalf of the worship team, me and Brother Brian are here to lead you guys there who are in your home places right now. Yep, let's all get ready and be excited to give all the praises to the Lord. And yeah, let's give it all for the best. Give it all the best to the Lord our God because He deserves it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Father. Hallelujah. Let's just uh, close our eyes and bow our heads as we are about to start the worship for the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, we praise you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to you, O Lord. Hallelujah to you, Father. Hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. We bless your name, Lord. And we will continue to exalt the name of Jesus in our lives, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We praise you. And we invite the Holy Presence to come in this midst of us, Panginoon. We may be in our different places right now, Lord God, but we are going to worship you as one body of Christ, Lord God. We know, Lord God, that you are dwelling in us through the Holy Spirit, Panginoon. And Lord, there's a lot of things that we would like to say to you, but we would just like to set aside everything else, Panginoon. Our worries, our problems, Lord God, they are not as important as you, Panginoon. Because the most important of everything right now in our life is you, O Lord. And so we would like to give you, Panginoon, this wonderful moment this wonderful intimate moment for you to be worshipped Panginoon and for you to speak to us Panginoon through your revelations for the word Panginoon and we thank you Lord we thank you for this wonderful day for another opportunity Panginoon na mapapurihan po namin po kayo Panginoon at mapasalamatan po namin kayo in all of your greatness in our lives Lord Jesus Hallelujah we praise you Lord and we would like to give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I would like to encourage everyone right now. You are there. You are standing in front of that TV television because you are here to worship the Lord. Because the Lord is also here for you to reveal the message that He has for you. But before that, before you hear the word, before you hear the most important thing for today, let, uh, let us worship first our Lord, our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus has a name. And that is love. That is joy. That is peace. That is patience. That is kindness. That is goodness. That is faithfulness. That is self-control. Hallelujah. We praise the Lord. Come on, we're going to sing the verse one. Hallelujah. Praise your God. We praise you, Lord. Oh, we invite you in this place, oh God. Holy Spirit, we invite you. Come in the midst of your people. 
There's a space in every beating heart There's a longing that reaches past the stars There's an answer to every question mark There's a name There's a hope flowing through his veins There's a voice that echoes through the pain There's an ember ready for the flame Oh, there's a name And that is you, Jesus We will fix our eyes to the one who overcame Yes, Lord. Come on, let's bring it up for the Lord. We will stand in awe of the one who breaks the chains. Hallelujah. Love has a name. Love has a name. Jesus. That's you, Lord. Love has a name. Love has a name, Jesus. Come on, let's sing the verse too. It's a joy that triumphs over fear. There's a laughter that wipes away your tears. There's a presence that changes atmospheres. Oh, there's a name That's the Lord Jesus We will fix our eyes To the one who overcame Hallelujah We will stand in awe Of the one who breaks the chains Come on, let's sing that again We will fix our eyes we will fix our eyes to the one who overcame And that is you, that is you, Lord Jesus We will stand in awe of the one who breaks the chains Oh, cause love has a name Love has a name Love has a name, Jesus. Oh, oh, victory has a name. Victory has a name, Jesus. My joy, my joy has a name. Joy has a name. church we're going to declare that again 
We will fix our eyes to the one who overcame. Come on, let's repeat that again. We will fix. We will fix our eyes to the one who overcame. We focus on you, oh God. We're going to fix our eyes to you, God. We will stand in awe of the one who breaks the chains. Cause love has a name. Love has a name. Jesus. A victory, a victory has a name. A victory has a name. God of Israel, we praise you, O Lamb of God. Hallelujah. We will fix our eyes to the one who overcame. We will stand in the of the one who breaks the chain. Cause love has a name, love has a name, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Love has a name, love has a name, Jesus. Oh, love has a name. Love has a name. Let's declare Jesus. Let's proclaim the greatness of our Lord Jesus in our lives. Oh, love has a name. Oh, love has a name. Jesus. Oh, love has a name. Love has a name. the praises to the Lord our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise the Lord. We thank you, Lord. We want to glorify your name, Lord God. In every situation we may be in right now, Lord God. Whatever trials we have, Lord, we will proclaim that your name is the name above all names, that you are in control of everything that's happening right now in the whole world, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah to you and to your name alone, Lord God. Because you are great and you are wonderful. And you are righteous, and you are holy, and you are glorious, O oh God. You are the one true God that we are going to proclaim, and we are going to declare. Hallelujah. Because He is the great God. He is an awesome, wonderful God. Mighty in power, author of wisdom.
Give all the praises to the Lord our God. Let's give it all the highest praises, all the highest praises and honor and glory and adoration. Give it all the glory for the God. Give it all the glory for all Jesus. Oh, hallelujah to your name. We bring a hallelujah to your name, oh God. We praise the Lord. Let's continue to worship the Lord our God. I would like to encourage each and every one to do it right now. The Spirit of the Living God is in your place right now. Kahit nasaan ka pa, kahit sa ang parte pa ng mundo. If you close your eyes and take this opportunity as an intimate moment to speak with God right now, the Lord is touching you. I believe in my spirit that the Lord is there with you right now. You just have to let your heart open. Kapatid, humble yourselves to God. Sometimes it's only a matter of being receptive. Kung ano yung gusto ni Lord sa buhay mo. para malaman mo at maramdaman mo kung gaano ka kamahal ng Panginoon. For you to be able to understand the love of God within you, you have to accept the Lord in your heart right now. And with the lyrics of this last song that we are going to sing for God, this will help us be reminded of how great he is in our lives. Of how wonderful He continuously moves in our lives. Kapatid, kahit kailan, hindi ka nag-isa. Hindi ka nag-iisa. And this song, we're gonna lift it up for the Lord. We give all the worship for God. Because I know and I believe that there is a special moment like this for you to restore that relationship that you've once had with God. Hallelujah. This is the Father. This is our Lord Jesus. This is our God. Your praise is enough more than I your word I will believe I wait for you draw near again and your spirit make me new and I will fall at your feet I will Fall at your feet, and I will worship you here. Your presence in me, Jesus, light the way by the power of. Your blood, I am restored, I am redeemed by your spirit. I am free, and I will fall at your feet. I will fall at your feet. I will worship 
coming into our lives Lord Jesus we thank you all Lord that you have given us this wonderful opportunity Panginoon na tanggapin kayo sa buhay po namin Panginoon Lord to accept you is the best decision Lord God that we've ever made in our lives Lord Jesus and from now on Lord Jesus we're gonna move forward but this time being with you Lord dahil alam namin na kahit kailan hindi mo kami iniwan Lord Jesus we pray, O Lord God, and we continue to pray that the Holy Spirit will be upon us, your children, Lord. Continue to move in our lives. Continue to work into the lives of your people. Continue to move in the lives of the people that we've been praying for to come to know you and accept you, O Lord God. Hallelujah to you, O Lord Jesus. Come on, let's praise the Lord. Let's praise our Jesus. We lift your name on high, O God. Freely you gave. Freely you gave it all for us Surrendered your life upon that cross Great is your love put out for all This is our God We thank you Lord, we thank you Jesus Oh lift it on high from death to life, forever our God is glorified. Servant and King, rescue the world, this is our God. Sing that again. Servant and king, rescue the world. This is our God. Come on, church. We're going to sing that for the last time. Servant and king, rescue the world. This is our God. That's it, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord God. Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. We just worship you today, Lord Jesus. We worship you in spirit and in truth, Lord God. We believe and we have faith, Lord Jesus, that you are always with us, Panginoon. Whatever circumstances, Panginoon, we will know. We know that we can get through, Lord God, of all the situations that we are about to face in the future because we know, Pangino, that you are here with us, Lord God. 
Your Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is continuously guiding us, Panginoon. We thank you, Lord, for the life of each and every one who has come to worship you today in different places, Panginoon, in different countries right now, Lord God. We just worship you today, Lord God. We know in our hearts, Lord, that you are our only hope. And so we will always put our trust in you. Kahit ano pa yan. Lord God, because you are the most important person whom we've ever received in our life, Lord Jesus. And we know that we are safe with you, Panginoon. We know that we are priceless, Panginoon. Sa paningin mo, Panginoon. We thank you. And Lord, we cherish you every day of our lives, Lord God. Until our last breath here on earth, Lord. We thank you, Lord. And we would like to give you all the praises, Lord. And as we come to hear your word, Lord God, I know the person that you will bring here today, Lord Jesus. Anoint our pastor, Panginoon. That he may serve as a bridge, Panginoon, of your message to your people. Lord God, we thank you. And we will always give back to you yung lahat ng glory, yung lahat ng honor and adoration that you deserve. In Jesus' mighty name, and the people of God say, Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Amen. Now, may we call on Pastora Amy to just give us a word of inspiration for today. Amen. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all of us. I know in different parts of the world, it's already like 9 o'clock in the evening there. But whatever time you have right now, it is time to listen to the word of God. Amen? Um, our brethren in the Philippines, America, and other parts of the world are celebrating a Mother's Day. But for us, we would like to celebrate and honor our mothers every day of our life. Amen? And because of that, I would like to give a short prayer for our mothers, but not only mothers, even the fathers of the house, household and all our families. Let's all bow our heads and pray. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for this day. Thank you, Lord God, for the strength that we have. Thank you, O oh Lord, for giving us the ability to sing praises and worship you in spirit and in truth. Lord, right now, we would like to lift up all the fathers of each household right now that we represent. Lord, I pray that you're going to bless them, raise them as leaders of their family, as leaders of their household. Lord, anoint them and give them the ability to raise their family, not just a regular family, but a family that worships you as a whole. Lord, bless them and guide them wherever they are and bless them as they go to work every day. Lord, I'm also um, lifting up to you all the mothers. Lord, thank you for the lives of the mothers who sacrificed as well their life giving birth to their children. Lord, we want to honor them and we want to give them back the love that um, they have showered on us. Lord, I pray that you will bless each and every one of the mothers right now. May they be continuously the light of their household and the light of the Christians everywhere they go. Lord, give them the ability to raise their children as um, children who fears the Lord. Lord, I'm also lifting up to you all our children right now, the youths and the children. Lord, I pray that you will bless them and guide them. And at their very young age, Lord, I pray that they're going to know you deeper and will establish a relationship to you, O oh God, that they will, they're going to follow you and not the, the world, O oh Lord. Lord, I pray for each family that we represent. 
that Lord, we're going to declare that as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. And Lord, we want to receive your blessing and anointing today that Lord, raise these families to be your warriors, to be your children who lives the qualities of Jesus Christ, Lord. And Lord, right now, as we worship you together and as we listen for your word together as a family, Lord, may your blessings of your word that is going to transform us be upon us. Lord, we thank you. And in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God. God is going to bless you today with the wonderful words that God is going to give us. So wherever you are right now, wherever you're watching right now, I would like to greet you a wonderful day and believe and expect that God is going to shower you with the abundance of his love, of his mercy, and his grace among us. Praise God. If you could uh, please stand up and turn your Bible with me. Let's read the word of the Lord for us today in in the book of judges chapter 18 verses 1 to 6 in the NIV translation judges 18 1 verse 6 in those days Israel had no king and in those days the tribe of the Danites was seeking a place of their own where they might settle because they had not yet come into inheritance among the tribes of Israel so the Danites sent five of their leading men from Sora and Estawol to spy out the land and explore it. These men represented all the Danites and they told them, go explore the land. So they entered the hill country of Ephraim and came to the house of Micah where they spent the night. When they were near Micah's house, they recognized the voice of the young Levite so they turned in there and asked him, Who brought you here? What are you doing in this place? Why are you here? He told them what Micah had done for him and said, He has hired me and I am his priest. Then they said to him, Please inquire of God to learn whether our journey will be successful. I'm going to say it again. Please inquire of the God to learn whether our journey will be successful. The priest answered them, Go in peace. Your journey has the Lord's approval. Let's start up and let's bow down our heads and let's pray to the Lord right now. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I praise you and I worship your wonderful name in the midst of your people right now. Father God, I thank you for your greatness and your faithfulness among your people, O oh God. Even though we are not faithful, but Father God, your faithfulness abounds into all the earth. And Father God, to today I praise you and I lift up the name of Jesus. Lead us, Father God, as we study your word. And may the word of the living God be spoken among us and in the midst of us. Let your name be exalted alone. Let your mercy be upon us, O God, and to you we give all the praises and all the thanksgiving. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Life is a journey. Life is a journey. You know, for most people, I would like you to tell this wonderful thing that our life here on earth is not the permanent one. We're all just traveling in this journey that we call life. You know, most people, we, we don't fully comprehend this reality. That's why most people, we, we, are so in, we are so into loving the things of this world and everything that is in this world without realizing that we are just uh, passing by here on earth. Because one day, the Lord is going to, 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 to take us and bring us into the holy presence of God for eternity. Mga kapatid, always remember this, this, this uh, message of the Lord today is something that's going to change your perspective in life. You have to realize that life is a journey. This is not our permanent destination. We are just traveling and we are just passing by 
in today's event of our lives. That's why most people, we are into, into something in this world. We, you know, most people, we are short, uh, we are short focus. Ang ating, ang, ang ating vision is just short distance. We are not looking forward into something that we're going to spend with God in eternity. Amen? And today, I hope and I believe that God is going to give you a different and a genuine and a most important perspective in your life starting by knowing that life is a journey. Sabi nito, life is a journey, not a destination. Our destination is the life hereafter. It is the, you know, our destination, the final destinations of your existence is to be in the presence of God. Don't, kaya nga even the, the word, the word of the Lord said, don't love anything in this world. Amen? Don't, don't be falling in love too much, everything in this world. Kasi hindi ito yung final na pupuntahan mo. Life is not, life is a journey, not a destination. It is spiritually and practically important to choose the kind of journey and the kind of path we will choose because it either determines reward and consequences. If you're going to choose the journey only for this earth, you're going to face the consequences. It's going to be short-lived. Hindi siya magtatagal ang buhay dito sa mundo. Do you know the lifespan of man and the lifespan of mankind only averaging to 68 worldwide. It depends on the country. Just imagine this, 68 years of your life in comparisons, the kind of life that you're going to be spending in eternity. But it's so important for you to choose and for you to make a decision which journey of life that you're going to take. That's why in Proverbs 16, 25, we are all aware of this wonderful verse. I it, there is a way that appears to be right, but in the end, it leads to death. If you're going to change the way into journey, it's going to read like this. There is a journey that appears to be right, but at the end, it leads to death. Mga kapatid, don't choose the journey with no permanent consequences and reward. Choose the journey that you're going to spend with God. You know, even, in, even the people of God has recorded their, their journey in, in uh, Numbers chapter 33, verse 1 and 2. Here are the stages in the journey of the Israelites when they come out of Egypt by division under the leadership of Moses and Aaron. You know, even the people of God, they recorded their journey. Sometimes you really have to look back what kind of journey are you having right now here on earth. Ano bang journey? What, what kind of journey are you having right now? Where is it heading to? Saan ba papunta yung journey mo? Kapatid, if you're watching right now and you don't know there's uncertainties in your life, the message of the Lord is for you right now. How are you going to have a journey that have a everlasting consequences? That have, that you're gonna enjoy an everlasting reward from God. Amen? And sometimes even, even people from the church, they think that you're having the right journey in your life but unless you're going to see them from the biblical perspective, unless you're going to see them from the divine perspective of God in your life, only then and only then that you will say, I am on the right journey of my life. Sabi nga rito, life is not a competition, but a journey to be savored each step of the way. Sometimes simply because you are too, you are, you are too obsessed with the things of this world, you're not enjoying your life anymore. Amen po ba? You are into acquisition. You are into acquiring things. And by, you know what? By the moment you're going to enjoy what you have acquired, it's too late. Amen? Alana, too late now. By the time that you would like to, to enjoy it, but you will not be able to enjoy them. Why? Maybe because of the physical illnesses. I hope it will not happen to you. To you who are listening right now, maybe because you will not be able to enjoy them. Every day is a wonderful day to enjoy your life. Amen? Sabi nga rito, enjoyment and fulfillment 
Enjoyment and fulfillment are far more important than material acknowledgement. Than material and superficial acknowledgement. You know, sometimes, especially in the Facebook right now, you know, sometimes most people, I'm not saying it's you, but some people, you're going to, 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 to post a lot of photos of what you're doing, what you're having, where you have been. You know, sometimes you are just after likes. <laughs> you know the reason why? Because you would like to be acknowledged that you have this, that you've been there, that you're eating this, that you're enjoying this. But deep inside you, there is a deep vacuum inside of you because on the first place, there's no such kind of fulfillment and enjoyment in your life. Mga kapatid, don't live for the acknowledgement of people. Live for something that you're going to enjoy and there will be a sense of fulfillment in your life before God. It is not people you're going to please. It is not the people's acknowledgement you'll be belonging for, that you should be longing for, it must be the enjoyment and the fulfillment of your soul and saying that, Lord, I have done and I have, I have done it by serving you and giving honor and pleasing your name. Mga kapatid, don't ask for the acknowledgement of men. In this journey, if you're going to keep asking and longing and looking for acknowledgement, men, you're going to end up a failure. You're going to end up a failure. Amen? Hallelujah, Jesus. Life is a marathon, not a sprint. Yeah. It's not about the speed, but the character during the course of journey. It's not about the speed. It's not about your velocity, but your character and your attitude during journey the course of your journey. When we talk about life, life as a journey, a few things I would like to share to you. I think it's only four things. Number one, a journey without a clear vision of your destination shall end up in confusion. I'm going to say it again. A journey without a clear vision of destination shall end up in confusion. You know, a lot of people here, you're so busy doing things. And because you're so busy doing things, you end up forgetting what is the most important thing in your life. Amen ba? That's why here at Passion Church, you know, if you like to grow in your faith, we have a one day or a one topic that we discuss all about the life's purpose. Sometimes you don't know why, why God has created you. Amen? Amen. Dapat, as a Christian disciple, as a Christian disciple, we should know what on earth you are here for. And that is our mission is to experience the love of God and to love God in return and to show His love to others. Dapat, you must have a clear, you must have a clarity of your mission. You must have a clarity why God has created you. Amen? At yan yung vision ng church, ito yung visions that the church that God has created. To experience the love of God, say it to yourself right now, to experience the love of God and to love God in return and to show the love of God of others. You know, mga kapatid, your mission in life, your goal in life, your mission and your goal in life is not to be, is not to be rich. Your mission and your goal in life is not to acquire things. Your mission in life and the purpose of your life is to love God and to love His people. Nothing more, nothing less. Anything that comes after that is just a secondary. Anything that, is, that, that, that comes after that is just secondary. In Proverbs 29.18, Hallelujah Jesus. Amen. In Proverbs 29:18, a man without vision perishes. Where there is no vision, the people perish, but he that keepeth the law happy is he. Kaya maraming tao, malungkot na malungkot. A lot of people, you are suffering from depression. A lot of people, you are suffering from, you know, deep loneliness and sadness in your life because in the first place you are you are seeking for a deeper meaning and the real and a genuine meaning of your life that's why you are traveling in this journey that you call life 
without any sense of purpose. Wala kang sense of purpose sa buhay mo. But now, God is bringing you that the purpose of your life, number one, for you to realize that God loves you. And in return, because of God's great love for you, you're going to love Him and to show the love of God to others. Hallelujah, Jesus. Sabi pa dito, leave all unnecessary, number two, leave all unnecessary baggages of worries, grudges or hatred, anger or animosities. Hallelujah. You know one of the things that make your life difficult? You got loads of baggages. Sabi nga nila, as they say, ang dami mong baggages. What are those baggages? The baggages of worries. The baggages of hatred. The baggages of unforgiveness. The baggages of anger and emotions. You cannot move. You cannot move on. You cannot leave the things behind you. Every time you walk your life into this journey, you're always bringing them. That's why your life is full of heavy heaviness. Your life was full of burden. Your life is becoming so burdensome. Hindi mo na ma-enjoy ang buhay. You cannot enjoy your life anymore. You cannot serve God anymore because you are distracted by the loads that you are carrying from time to time. Kapatid, if you're watching right now, you know the reason why you're so heavy? There's a lot of baggages. Those baggages that we call worries, grudges, hatred, anger, and animosities. In the book of Luke, if you could turn with me, in the book of Luke chapter 9, verse 3. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Sabi po doon, He told them, Jesus Christ, Take nothing for the journey. No stuff, no bag, no bread, no money, no extra shirt. Amen? When God has commanded the people to go and preach the gospel, ang sabi po rito, if you're going to have a journey with me, if you're going to follow me, ang sabi ng Panginoon, in hyperbolic presentation, ang sabi niya rito, don't bring anything. You know the reason why? Because sometimes the more you carry the loads, the more you, you bring a lot of stuff, it's going to be so hard for you to follow and obey God. Amen? Hallelujah, Jesus. Are you with us? <laughs> Hallelujah. Sabi po rito, hanggat, hanggat marami kang dala-dala, sabi rito, please don't bring too much. You know, I really, I really love the people <laughs> every time we're going for, uh, for a holiday or even for having a weekend uh, a weekend. Uh, uh, holiday. Sometimes even for two days, we are bringing loads of clothes and loads of foods and everything. And and the more we bring loads of things, you know, the more it's becoming so. The more it is becoming so heavy, and we don't enjoy the holiday anymore. Why? Because of the loads. Amen. Mga kapatid, wag ka masyadong magdala ng don't bring too much baggages and luggages in your life. Hallelujah, Jesus. So you have to believe them. Amen? Our loads surely affect our daily Christian walk. Hallelujah, Jesus. Sabi po rito, our loads surely affect our daily Christian walk. Pag magta-travel ka, don't bring too much. Same thing, with the practical life that you have. If you would like to follow God, don't bring too much. Don't bring too much extra, too much and extra baggages in your life. It's gonna make your journey and your following and your obedience to God even more difficult. Sometimes you really have to leave something behind in your journey. Sometimes the most important thing that we think they are so important, you know, along the journey, you will realize they are not really that so important. Hindi pala siya ganon kahalaga. Especially in this lockdown, there's a lot of things that you have realized that that is not so important. Amen? In this lockdown, there's only few things that you find it so important. First, the most important is God. Second, food. Third, shelter. Or maybe one of them is, one of them is also your family. You know, in random, 
random order except God. Obviously, God comes first. Now, God let you realize what is the most important thing in your journey in this life. Something that you haven't realized before. So, leave all those luggages behind you. Amen? And always remember this. At the end of this message, I'm going to encourage, I would like to pray for you. What are those luggages that I need to leave behind me so that I can follow and I can have a victorious, triumphant life in this journey that I call life? I can leave all those things behind me so I can follow God and I can serve God to the best of my ability and by the help of the Holy Spirit of the living God. Amen? Hallelujah, Jesus. So leave all those unnecessary baggages. Number three, every hard, bumpy, and difficult roads are not meant to stop you, but to slow you down. Hallelujah. Pulitin ko po ito, ha? Every hard, bumpy, and difficult roads are not meant to stop you, but to slow you down. In 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 3 to 6, Hallelujah, Jesus. We put no stumbling block in anyone's path so that our ministry will not be discredited. Rather, as servants of God, we commend ourselves in every way, in great endurance, in troubles, hardships, and distresses, in beatings, imprisonments, and in riots, in hard work, in sleepless nights, and hunger, in purity, understanding patience and kindness, in the Holy Spirit, and in sincere love. You know what? Even Apostle Paul, the great apostle of the living God, you know what? He has experienced the hard and the bumpy and the difficult roads. Mga kapatid, the journey we're going to have on this life, it's not all bed of roses. Sometimes they are mostly bed of thorns. You have to look and see life from from realistic viewpoint. You have to see life from the realistic and spiritual viewpoint ng buhay mo. Amen? There is always a hard and a bumpy road ahead of you. That is reality of life. Amen? Pero sabi rito, even though life is a journey, but that journey must be traveled no matter how, about the, how bad the roads and the accommodations. In Tagalog, walang destinations na walang hirap. Walang destinations na walang baku-bakong daan. Walang destination at lahat ng magandang destinations, lahat may kasamang masasakit at mahihirap na hamon. Amen? Wala, wala kang pupuntahan na is going to be an easy sailing and, a, and an easy sailing and, a, and an easy travel sa Panginoon. Because even Apostle Paul, he has gone through lots of difficulties and persecutions and suffering and even beatings even to the point of death because that is the reality of life. Amen? But on the other hand, even though, even though life you know, there's some bumpy roads, pero ang sabi po rito, ang purpose doon, not to stop you. Kapatid, whatever bumpy roads you're having right now along your journey in this life, I'm telling you this, the purpose of that is not to stop you, but just to slow you down and think again. Amen? Here in Southampton, they got loads of, and even here in the United Kingdom, there are lots of uh, roundabout, and there's a lot of of uh, bumpy roads. And then one point I realized, Lord, what is the purpose of this, of these humps? Mga humps sa, sa, sa ating daan. You know the reason why? Just to slow you down. Maybe tonight, or maybe today, morning or afternoon, wherever you are right now, maybe God is telling you, my child, my child, the purpose of, the, of those humps along your journey is to slow you down. Kasi ang lagi-lagi ang bilis-bilis mo. Because you always walk too fast. You always run too fast. You always drive too fast. Tandaan mo ito. God is going to make a way when God wants you to slow down. Maybe the message of the Lord right now is trying to slow you down. Please don't harden your heart. Please don't harden your heart. Maghinay-hinay ka muna. 
Because God would like to remind you that there is some better thing that you can do when you are not running fast, when you are not driving fast in your life. Amen? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Number four, life is a journey. Life is a journey with problems to solve, lessons to learn, but most of all, experiences to enjoy. Hallelujah, Jesus. If you can see it in your monitor right now, life is a journey with problems to solve, lessons to learn, but most of all, experiences to enjoy. In the book of Psalms 37, verse 19, in times of disaster, they will not wither. In days of famine, they will enjoy plenty. Ayan. They will enjoy plenty. You know what? One thing I've realized in this life, you must always find a reason. You must always find a reason how are you going to enjoy life no matter how difficult and unmanageable your life will be. Lagi kang humanap ng reasons para mo ma-enjoy yung buhay. Always find a time to rejoice and be happy and, and be thankful and be grateful in your life even though it seems sometimes your life is getting so difficult, cannot really fully comprehend, hindi mo maunawaan, you cannot fully understand what's going on. Sometimes you think that your life is so unmanageable. Kapatid, today, God is telling you, find a reason to rejoice. Find a reason to enjoy your life. Because if you keep on looking for reasons not to enjoy them, you're going to end up having no time to enjoy your life. Because enjoyment is a choice. Amen? Because enjoyment is a choice. Kaya nga sabi rito, the longer the journey, the sweeter will be at the end. Listen to this. The longer the journey, the sweeter will be at the end. The harder the journey, the stronger you will be. Hallelujah. The harder the journey, the stronger that you will be. Hallelujah, Jesus. And also, we will meet people, you know, in this life's journey, you know what? You will meet people for three reasons. Or you will meet people, three different kinds of people with a different purpose in your life. Amen? Hallelujah. I, I, I hope and I believe you're still hearing me. Meron tatlong klase ng tao na mamimit ka at meron tatlong purpose sa buhay mo. Number one, you know what? Number one, you will meet people to bless you. You will meet people to teach you. And you will meet people to test you. Amen? Yan lang yung tatlong klase ng tao. Those are the three kinds of person you're going to meet in this life. Those in categories. <laughs> and sometimes, if you would like someone to be with you, someone that is going to bless you. Amen? Sometimes, those people who will teach you a wonderful lesson, even though the lesson will be painful, maybe the lessons will be difficult, but they are the people who will teach you something in your life. And also, there's another kind of type of person that their purpose in your journey in this life is to test you. Test your faith. Test your allegiance. Test you in every way of your life. Hallelujah, Jesus. And also, I've listed some of the practical points how, how are you going to spend and how are you going to take your journey in this life. Number one, be wise in choosing your company. Amen? Be wise in choosing your company. Choose the people you're gonna share your journey with. Mga kapatid, I'm telling you this. The kind of company you're gonna spending your time with will greatly influence and affect your life and in this journey. Kapag ang mga pinili mong tao, puro negatives, if you're going to spend and you often to choose your life and be with your journey, with the person in your journey, na mga negatives, you're gonna end up negative. If you're going to choose a people which is full of faith and full of positive thoughts and, 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 and so optimistic in everything, you're gonna end up like one eventually at the end. So kapatid, always choose the kind of people. 
That is why in Psalms chapter 1, verse 1, ang sabi ron, Blessed is the one who does not walk in the step of the wicked or stand in the way that sinners take or sit in the company of mockers. Amen? You know, even King David, at the beginning of the book of Psalms, ang sabi niya, don't go with them. Amen? Love them, but don't go with them. Kaya nga sabi ito, blessed. Blessed is the one who does not walk in the step with the wicked. Kapatid, the kind of person you're gonna spending your time will greatly affect how you will be in the future. So better choose and better be wise in choosing your company. Amen? Number two, let God search our hearts and innermost thoughts daily. Let God search our hearts and innermost thoughts daily. Sabi doon sa Psalms 139, 23 to 24, Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there's any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. You know, daily, just commune with the Lord and saying, Lord, am I still on the right path of my journey? Lord, am I still doing the right thing before you? Because if not, Lord, Lord, please change me. Sometimes, it is normal. Sometimes, you get off the track. Minsan, nawawala ka sa, ano ba track? Nawawala ka sa sariles. All of us, you can experience that. Maybe at one point, you are on the right track. But along the way, because you've been into a bad company, you lost your track. The influence of the people around you becomes so different right now. Dati-dati ang init-init mo sa Panginoon. So before you got this, this zealousness and this enthusiasm to serve Him and to know Him, but along the way, something happened, something changed. Kapatid, it's not too late yet. All you have to do, the first thing you have to do, let God search your heart. And you must be willing that God going to search you and your innermost thoughts. Hallelujah, Jesus. Another one, I like this one. Do not change the directions of the wind, but always adjust your sail to reach your destination. Do not change the directions of the wind, but always adjust your sail to reach your destination. Hallelujah. Mga kapatid, you know in life's you know, in life's journey, there, there is one thing I've realized. There's a lot of things you cannot totally change. And you cannot change at all. But people, you try to change things. You must be wise enough. You must have the leading of God as to which thing that you cannot change. Amen? Because the more you change them, the more it's going to give you worries. And it's going to give you troubles in your life. Amen? Amen? You know, my principles that I, that I got from the Word of God, you know what? If I come to an end, and if that end is a dead end, and there's no way that I can change it, the first thing I'm going to, to say is, Lord, this is dead end. I did my best, Lord, but my best wasn't good enough. As always, I'm going to give it back to you, Lord. Wag mong, wag mong palitan yung hangin. Wag mong baguhin yung hangin na nangyayari sa buhay mo. Always ask God. Sometimes you would like to change the wind. But the purpose of God is not the wind that you're going to change. It is the way you sail. Amen? Hindi mo mababago yung hangin, but you can change your directions by changing your sail. Because sometimes God speaks through the wind. Ang sabi ng Panginoon, Oh Lord, I would like to go southbound. But God is telling you, No, I'm going to go northbound. And then you keep sailing, going to the directions that you desire. The more you sail to the directions opposite from the directions of God, the more it gives you troubles. Kapatid, this is the time to change your sailing before God. Don't oppose the wind of God. Don't oppose the directions of God. Be willing and humble enough to go God's way. And I'm telling you this, you will see the big difference and you will see the greatness of God's plan in your life. Don't change the direction of the wind. 
adjust your sail to reach your destinations. And number five, and the last one, train your spiritual strength daily as you take your journey. Train your spiritual strength daily as you take your journey. Amen? Journey without training will end up collapsing. <laughs> a person in a journey without training will end up collapsing. Yung mga tao po na hindi nagtitrain and then joining the journey, you're gonna end up collapse one day. Even in a, even in a spiritual and natural realm, if you're going to compete, if you're going to, to go on marathon, whatever kind of competitions, in the practical norm, in the natural norm, and you're not having your practice, you're not having your training, you're gonna end up collapsing. Hallelujah. Araw-araw dapat may training ka in your spiritual conditioning. Daily, there must be a training for your spiritual conditioning and spiritual stamina. Spending your time with your daily devotion, spending your time in prayer, spending your time mentoring with your pastor, spending your time worshiping and praising God so that when the storm comes around along the journey, you will be able enough to stand in the midst of the storm. Tandaan niyo po ito. The first victim, the first victim of the storm are those who is not grounded, well grounded and deep grounded in the word of God. Start to train yourself today. The whole Passion Church is here to help you. You know, wherever you are right now, whether in the United States, United Kingdom, you know, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Singapore, Canada, USA, you know, we are here to help you in our own simple way through Zoom. Every day we are having this kind of mentoring. We are having this kind of teaching. You know the reason why? Because we would like you to be able for you to stand up in the midst of the storm. Mga kapatid, in this journey, there will be lots of a storm. I'm telling you this. There will be lots of storm after storm after storm. And if you don't have enough strength and stamina, first and foremost, the strength that's coming from the Lord, and you don't have your own personal spiritual training and conditioning, you will be in trouble. But praise be to God, there are lots of people who's willing. And first and foremost, the Holy Spirit of God is willing to strengthen you and to empower you today. Hallelujah, Jesus. And I would like to pray right now. Okay, Wherever you are right now, Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise the Lord. I would like you to get inspired about this life journey that we are discussing, that we are talking about. The only impossible journey is the one that you never begin. Okay? I'm going to say this one again. The only impossible journey is only the one that you never begin. Impossible lamang yung journey mo Kasi hindi mo pa napapasimulan. Kaya nga sabi, the journey of a thousand miles begin with a single step. Wherever you are right now, start what you want to start now. Don't get scared. Huwag kang matakot to start your journey. Don't get scared to start your journey with Christ. Don't get scared your journey serving Him. Don't get scared don't, don't get scared your journey trusting Him and, and putting your lives and everything and leaving your dreams all behind because you would like to serve God. Kapatid, tonight, today and this afternoon, kung meron kang naisimulan sa Panginoon sa buhay mo sa oras na ito, God is telling you, this is your moment to start your journey. Huwag kang matakot. Wag kang matakot na magtiwala. Wag kang matakot na sumunod kay Lord. Wag kang matakot to give the best that you could offer to the Lord. Because God is telling you right now, the only impossible journey is the one that you never begin. If you're listening right now, maybe before you, you are praying for something, you would like to start something new in your life. You would like to make a decision in your life. But somewhere along the way, something happened. Maybe even before the start of the corona crisis, 
You have a great plan. You have a concrete plan. You have a very beautiful plan in your life. And you're just about to start those things. But here comes the coronavirus. But I'm telling you this. Whatever journey that you would like to offer to the Lord, nothing can stop them. Whatever, you, you, whatever dreams that you have for God, whatever dreams that you have for your family right now, I'm telling you this, not even the coronavirus can stop you. Better to start them now. Magsimula ka ngayon, kapatid. Maybe you just came to know Christ recently. And you would like to know Him in a deeper, in a wider, in a higher way. Kapatid, don't stop. Start your journey with God. The greatest journey we could have is a journey. The greatest journey we could have is a journey where God leads the road, walk with you along the road, and God is exalted at the end of the road. We have so many choices which road we are going to take. There are so many dreams that we can dream for ourselves. There are so many dreams that we can dream for our family. But this is the word of the Lord right now. The personal message of God in your life right now is this. The greatest journey is a journey where God leads and where God walks with you along the road and God is exalted at the end of the road. The God's final destination for you on this journey we call life is not just victory. It's not just power. It is not just about wealth. It is not just about peace. The greatest journey we could have is a journey where God is exalted and lifted up. A journey where God is at the center of everything. Because there's one thing I would like to tell you today before we're going to end up in prayer. Because He is the only one who can sustain your journey and your battle in this life. Si Lord lang ang po pwedeng sumama sa'yo na, po, na hindi ka po pwedeng matakot sa kahit anuman. Kapatid, if you're listening right now, I, I would like you to stand up. Stand up with your family members. Stand up with your friends. Maybe with your colleagues. Maybe your housemates or roommates right now. I would like to pray for you. I would like you to be encouraged by the wonderful inspirations of the Lord in your life. Hallelujah, Jesus. There will be roads bumps. There will be rough and difficult, rocky roads that you're having right now. But God is telling you, those are not meant to stop you. Those are meant to slow you down because God is showing you something better, something best in your life. You cannot take this journey on yourself alone. You need someone. And that someone is no other than the presence of God in your life. Maybe I don't know who you are. Maybe at one point you've taken a different roads. Maaring minsan sa buhay mo may iba kang daan na dinaanan. You have, you have separated your ways from God. And then at the end you realize that you have committed a bad mistakes. You have committed and realized a bad choice in your life. You know what? God is willing to make it better this time. No matter what bad choices, no matter what bad choices of the road and the paths that you have chosen before, that maybe right now you are you are experiencing the consequences, you know, you can start anew before God. Amen? Maybe before you, you, you took the road of your dreams rather than the dreams of God in your life. Kapatid, God is not done with you yet. You can start anew. 
You can make a better road. You can make a better journey. But right now, you're going to trust the right company, the good company that God is going to give you. Amen? Kapatid, I don't know. I don't know what kind of roads you're, you're having right now. I don't know what kind of roads that you are that you're having right now. Maybe rocky roads. Roads full of weeds, muddy road, maruruming daan, bumpy roads, and sometimes it makes your life even more difficult. Things never go your way. And maybe you cannot see even a glimpse of your destination. Na parang sa, sa tingin mo, sometimes you feel that you're getting lost. Parang nawawala ka na. Kapatid, right now, I would like to pray for you that may the Lord continuously lead you back into the right track. To the right track of righteousness. To the right track of His word today in your life. Kapatid, if you would like to to have a journey with God, I would like to for you to stand up with your family right now, with your friends. If you could please close your eyes. And also if you could please our raise our hands. You know, maraming churches ngayon, hindi na tayo nagtataas ng kamay. There are so many people right now, we are not even bothered to raise our hands or even to kneel down before God because sometimes we think we can do it on our own. But I'm telling you, in this church, we are still humbling ourselves before God. Nagpapakumaba pa rin tayo sa Panginoon. Kapatid, I would like to pray for you. If you could please raise your hands. Close our eyes and bow down our heads before God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Father God in heaven, Lord, I pray. I pray, Father God, for our people right now, for your people, Lord, who are watching right now, who's with us right now. Lord, I pray that whatever kind of journey that we're having right now, Father God, difficult journey, bumpy roads journey, painful journey, journey that we cannot understand, journey that is full of darkness, journey that is full of frustrations, journey that is full of pain, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, show them right now, wherever they are, right where you're standing right now, Lord, today, intervene and lead us, O oh God. For those who are feeling frustrated, give them hope. For those who are losing their visual and spiritual eyes, and Father God, give them the clarity of their vision. Always give them hope. You know, sa mga nahihirapan sa oras na ito, Father God, I pray for the strength and for the inspirations be upon their house right now. I pray, Father God, whatever journey we're in right now, Lord, we will still choose to praise you because we know a journey, Father God, that has been entrusted into your care, there is an assurance that we will reach the destination that we will reach the dream that you have for us. Well, healthy, strong, and full of joy. Father God, for those who would like to start something new in your life, kapatid, if you would like to start something new in your life right now, God is telling you, better start them now, despite of the crisis. God is going to give you something beyond your imagination. And this is the word of the Lord in your life right now. Father God, we thank you. We would like to give you all the praises and all the thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Pastor, for that wonderful message and um, thank you, everybody, for listening in. I um, just want to share a verse once you once again. If you would turn your Bibles to Proverbs 3, um, verse 9 to 10. It says, Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all, your, all, all, of all your crops. Then your barns will be filled to, to be overflowing, and your vats will brim over with new wine. Brothers and sisters, um, you, we're not obliging you to give or anything, but truly it's the Lord's promise that indeed if you 
obey him in his command of giving your first fruits and giving your tenth every month, then he will bless you, surely. And if you would like to, uh, the bank details will be showing up on your screen right about now. And that's the, um, that's the bank account and the sort code of our church. Um, so God bless you. And if you would like to follow us on our social media platforms, please um, check, the, check us out on Instagram, Passion Church IG. On Facebook, it's Passion Church UK, and on YouTube, it's Passion Church UK as well. Um, we also have a website that's up and running now. It's passion-church.co.uk. So if you would like to see more of the latest events that is going on in our church, any of these platforms will do. All right, so, and if you would like to join us in our online life groups, in our online mentoring sessions, um, please uh, refer to the schedule that's also showing on your screen right now. We have mentorings on Mondays and we have um, Gospel and Friends on Tuesdays. So if you don't know about God yet or you have friends or families who, who, want, uh, who do not yet believe in God or just anything that you want to share, um, you want to share the gospel to your friends, please invite them to Gospel and Friends. And if you just have any general questions about God, it's a friendly environment. Um, we don't really... There's, there's no like um, arguments or anything about God there, but we're just here, friends discussing, brothers and sisters discussing God together. And then we have other cell groups on Wednesdays, um, Fridays, and most of all, we have our Sunday service on Facebook every Sunday. So um, please take a screenshot of the schedule and don't hesitate to message us. If you would like a prayer request, if you would like a conversation or anything like that, please, please message us. And without further ado, I would like to um, call upon Kuya Ferds for our uh, victory victory song. And actually, nandito na ako. <laughs> Praise God, hallelujah. Yeah. Before we end the service, yeah, we're just gonna have our victory song. And uh, yeah, I hope everyone has and has been enlightened by the word of God delivered today through our Pastor Benny, and uh, yes, hallelujah, we praise the Lord for that wonderful message, truly, that life is a journey that, um, for us to be able to have that good journey, for us to have that uh, journey that is uh, uh, going straight to God. Kailangan pala natin iwanan yung mga, yung mga ano natin, loads natin. Those includes the grudges, the hatred, the anger, animosities, anything that is not important to carry, in this life as a journey we have to live it and so as we can move on with our life yeah amen hallelujah praise you god and uh, let's have our oh, pwede ba tayo magpalit bro brian oh, praise god <laughs> amen let's uh continue to worship the lord our god for our final victory song love has a name and that is you lord jesus amen praise the lord We will fix our eyes to the one who overcame. Amen. We will stand in awe of the one who breaks the chain. We will fix our eyes on you, Jesus. We will fix our eyes to the one who overcame. And we will stand in awe. We will stand in awe of the one who breaks the chains. Oh, cause love has a name, love has a name, Jesus. Oh, victory has a name, my victory has a name. Oh, love has 
has a name, and love has a name. Lord. Amen. A blessed Sunday to everyone. Hallelujah. We praise the Lord. We praise the love of God. And that's the Lord Jesus. Amen. Okay, so we're just uh, we're, we're just going to have some uh, announcement for this afternoon. Okay, for some announcements, we're just going to pop up some of it that you will be seeing in the screen in just a few seconds. Yeah. Hallelujah. I hope you guys had a wonderful day, had a wonderful Sunday together with your families there in your homes and your, even in your workplaces if you are with us worshiping the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> 